What is going on, painting company owners? Brandon from Painter Marketing Pros here. Happy Wednesday to you. Hope your week is going strong. Are you tired of dealing with garbage painting leads? Are you tired of dealing with tire kicker leads? Leads that are not serious about moving forward. Leads that just want to go with the lowest painting contractor that comes out to their house. That sucks. Dealing with leads like that sucks. When I when I started my my first uh, service business, I ran into that issue a lot. These these low value leads, you know, not serious about doing business or ultimately just want the lowest price and ultimately don't really care about uh, quality or I wasn't conveying the quality, right? I, either they didn't care or I wasn't conveying it or both, right? So that, there's the issue. And I'm going to tell you, if, if you're having that issue, if you're finding that you're wasting a lot of time either doing jobs for, we'll call them budget conscious, uh, to be polite, if you're doing jobs for budget conscious uh, customers, or if you're finding that you're conducting a lot of estimates and and ultimately aren't closing, and it's due to some some sort of price problem that the customer has, then you have you have one or probably realistically more than one of three primary issues. Number one, your your prospecting source. Where are your prospective customers coming from? There are good prospecting sources and there are bad prospecting sources. There are, are sources that tend to generate on a consistent basis high quality leads. And then there are sources that consistently generate low quality leads. So where are your leads coming from is number one. Number two, how are you handling those leads? When they come in, what is your sales process? What does that look like, right? How quickly are you responding to them? Do you have a really professional autom automated system in place? So they're getting those text reminders about estimates. They're getting those those text follow-ups, they're getting those emails, right? So it, it makes you look like you have your stuff together, right? Number three, are you building the value of your painting company? So are you decommoditizing your painting business? You do not want to just be another painting business because if you are, why would they pay you more? If you say, hey, I, I can come slap some paint on the walls and so can that guy and so can that guy, why would they pay you more? They're not going to, that would be insane. So decommoditize your painting business. What does that look like, right? How are you different? What's your value? So we've crafted a system that does this for our clients, a residential repaint growth engine. DM me if you're interested in learning more. It's highly effective. But these are the three problems we see over and over and over again in the industry. These are the three problems that I ran into years back when I started my first service business. Um, and they're problems that do need to be solved for you to build a, a scalable, uh, large, highly profitable residential painting business. So hope your week is going well. Happy Wednesday to you and uh, let's keep going strong hump day.